Hello, thank you for choosing Chison. It's my pleasure to introduce the operation of I3. First, I, may, I mainly introduce the parameters in different modes. Second, I will introduce the system setting. Third, I will take 4D probe, for example, to introduce the operation. Let's start the operation by pressing the power key. The most important thing is to confirm the TGC is in the center position. First, press the patient key to create a new patient record. Input the invention as we want. Last name. First name. Mode name. Move the trackball and press Enter key to create a new patient. Here, you can see the patient information. Second, press the probe key to enter the transducer selection interface. Move the trackball and press the Enter key to choose the probe. Application preset. Double click the enter key to enter into the default preset in B mode. In B mode, we have many parameters to adjust, but uh, the most important is frequency, dynamic, focus number and focus position, depth, and uh, gain. Just for example, up and down. We can change the depth. Up to decrease the depth. Down to increase the depth. We can change the depth according to the patient size. Frequency. Press this knob to adjust. If the patient is fat, we should choose a higher frequency, sorry, choose a lower frequency to get a, a better penetration. If the patient is thin, we should choose a higher frequency to get a better resolution. The higher the frequency, the better resolution, but uh, the lower penetration. Dynamic. We can rotate this knob to adjust. Dynamic is control the image contrast. If we want to reduce the di contrast, we should rotate the dynamic up. Just like this. Focus number and the focus position. We can press to change the focus number and uh, rotate to change the position. Also, up and down to change the focus position. We should uh, change the position, focus position and uh, focus number according to the requirements. For the focus number, we affect the frame rate. So, please keep the focus number in default mode. Gain. You can rotate the B knob to adjust the gain. It will affect the image brightness. Just rotate to up and down the brightness. This is the parameters in B mode. Let's get into the C mode. Just press 
C knob. The color sample will show out. We can move the trackball to change the position. Press the Enter key and move the trackball. We can change the size. In C mode, the most important parameters is wall filter, pulse repeated, repeted, repetition frequency, gain, color gain. Press this pro knob to adjust the wall filter. Wall filter is to reduce the noise caused by wall motion. Rotate this knob to adjust the pulse repetition frequency. For the low velocity, like thyroid, small parts, finger vessel, and so on, you have to decrease the param par parameters. For the higher high velo velocity, like heart, choroid, you should increase the parameters. Color gain. We can rotate the C knob to change the parameters. If we want to get more flow information, we, could, we should increase the parameters. If the noise and the, the flow is over, we should decrease the color gain. Okay, this is the most important parameters in C mode. Wall filter, pulse, repetition frequency, color gain. Let's get into D mode. In Doppler mode, we should press update to get the spectral image. Before we press this key, we, can, we should move the trackball to change the color gate position. Press the enter key and move the trackball to change the size of the color gate. Press the Enter key again to fix the, the size. In D mode, the most important parameter is wall filter. This function is the similar to the wall filter in C mode. It will reduce the noise caused by wall motion. Audio. We can rotate the knob to up and down the sound of the speaker. Bass line. Rotate this knob to change the position of the bass line according to the spectrum. Also, you can up and down this knob to change the position. And in D mode, the color gain and the other two parameters 
in the menu D menu. We can press the menu. The D menu will show on the left of the screen. The color Doppler gain and the spectral enhancement. Dynamic range. They are similar parameters. They all control the background of the spectrum. If we want, if we want to get more information of the spectrum, we should increase the parameters such as Doppler gain, spectral enhancement, and the dynamic range. If we want to reduce the noise of the background, we should decrease the parameters. Take for example, rotate the menu to choose the parameters. Press the menu. The parameters will light. And rotate the menu to change the parameters. If the parameter is higher, the background with many noise. We can decrease the parameters and the background is clear. That's the most important parameters in D mode. Wall filter, baseline, audio, gain, and spectral enhancement and the dynamic range. Okay, after we get this, we can, according to the requirements, adjust the eye image. If we get the image, we can do the following operation. <laughs>